Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Laura here. So for today's speed build, I am bringing you a townhouse. So I will preface this by saying that I did originally do a lot of experimenting um, before I actually started the video on figuring out how to do the lower floor of the basement, so to speak. Um, I wanted to do an actual proper townhouse. I've seen some videos of people doing townhouses where they've just done the next floor up, so like floor two, but I actually wanted to bring in that element of the stairs going down towards the first apartment, so to speak, in the basement. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say I kind of didn't really know what I was doing until I did some experimenting, watched a couple of videos, um, and then I was able to produce something which is quite funny because I added in the basement and the first floor but I didn't actually furnish it I only furnished the like apartment two for example so the ones that are on the top um, of the stairs I didn't want to have a budget for this one compared to like my starter home uh, I think this one clocked in at nearly a hundred thousand simoleons but you can tell just because there is going to be a lot of lavish furnishings um, a lot of decorations and it is essentially four stories or three stories in the basement but um i just wanted to splurge and just go with with it and just have fun and as you can see i started to um add in some nice white features and i also when i was messing around when i was experimenting i did this idea where i ended up having some blocks of cement away as you can see on the flooring and then later on I do add some trees and bushes there and it kind of did add this nice this nice effect this nice styling I can't really say what it is but it did add something really nice and here I'm trying to just figure out the floor plan I wasn't sure what I wanted to do where I wanted things to go um, I did initially want to have like a, a ki the kitchen kind of like boarded off but I ended up not doing that in the end I ended up just have an open plan kitchen but kind of blocking off a bit of the area with a kind of like a breakfast bar so yeah i really had no plan whatsoever going into this i just started placing down objects placing down doors and everything and just going with it i kind of did have a bit of an aesthetic for this one like i said i wanted it to be very modern rich posh um the kitchen is very dark brown the bathroom is gray and black um kind of also follow that theme into the bedroom as well but yeah this build was so much fun i had to do it in two parts because i started it uh, last night as of recording this voiceover and then i've just finished it um this evening it took a while it did take a while but i really wanted to kind of experiment i have been working on another townhouse as well which i am halfway through and that is specifically black and white with grey as well but I wanted to kind of like have this theme go through it it kind of did bleed into this house as well just because once I start a theme I do want to go through ahead and finish it so like I said this one is this bathroom is very black and white the kitchen is meant to be warm and homey um I will hopefully one day make a house with objects that I feel like I've never actually used. I do seem to use the same objects over and over and over again in my builds but I think all sim uh, builders are like that. Once you have something that you like you pre preferably stick with it. Um, and here I was like oh no the bathroom's a bit too small. I realised that having that second sink there's going to be no room for the bath so I just stretched it out a little bit. I was going to then extend that second bedroom or study I didn't know what I wanted it to be at this point but then I ended up changing it um, so it actually still remained a bit thin and um, yeah so now I'm gonna be starting on the kitchen and I really had this amazing idea to do a kind of like shelving above the side panel sort of thing you'll see in a minute um, and I really want to incorporate that in. I've seen it on a couple of speed builds before and I thought, oh, it looks so pretty. I just really wanted to add that in. And I wanted to keep this warm wooden theme going on throughout the build. Um, and then also here, you can see me terribly, terribly trying to figure out how to do the corner. Every time I do corners, I always don't know how to do it. I end up using the wrong corner, the small one, the big one, and it just gets, oh, it's just so annoying. But I ended up figuring it out in the end anyway. Uh, here I thought about adding in a touch of colour to the bar stools, but I think it just stood out a little bit too much. So I ended up just opting with the, uh, the grey there and throwing in everything that you can see. I do love clutter. Um, I, I really do. Like I've done a couple of builds where it's 
probably like 80% clutter and then the rest of it I've gone oh yeah there is like meant to be a you know a sink and stuff like that I just like to make things extremely messy so here's what I was talking about I thought of putting two sorry four of those shelves down and then putting on the shelving unit above that so then you can add some decorations which I thought looked really cute and it kind of added to this aesthetic to the house as well which I really liked so and then here I was trying to like just experiment with what I wanted to go there I didn't know if I wanted a hood or if I wanted um like which coloring to go there for so I ended up just I think I do that a lot of time with my bills I just throw things down and then I just come back to it but um I do love watching other people's speed builds because it is fascinating to see their mental process as well of how they do things um some people exactly know what they want where they want and then I'm here just like just scouring through the, uh, uh, the through the catalogue and trying to figure out what do I think goes where and changing colours at last minute and everything. So, and then here I was trying to figure out do I actually want a pots and pans ceiling stand? And they either looked really short or really tall. And also I didn't like how it blocked the view a little bit. Um, I very rarely put these in builds. Uh, only unless the kitchen is massive or it does look okay. But um, these floors were the middle tier floors walls sorry so I think that added on just that extra bit of height which made everything just a little bit more awkward if it was smaller height I think it would have worked but you know it's, normally I don't really like using anything rather than the first wall height but because of this build it was a little bit apartmenty. it just added in and it just seemed to open the space up a little bit more I don't know it just kind of worked and then here I was just throwing down a standard dining table I thought about having a big dining table but then I was like no I don't think it's going to fit and then I started to work on the living room I didn't really want to add too much but I just wanted to throw in some nice kind of like warm white colours rather than anything else I was thinking in the back of my mind to do something like bright and colourful and to possibly put it in that corner bit there and then I just thought no it will look a bit too formal I didn't want it to look very formal I want it to look like oh they live here and I thought oh putting the TV on an angle adding some decorations so this house does scream rich and I think it does scream elegance this is somewhere I would love to live I have a very expensive taste <laughs> so I think that's just where it, it really does come into play and I always seem to do houses like this if I ever try and do like a family home I struggle because I either do I make it look too neat too tidy which is quite ironic because I'm a very messy person uh, I think one day I will probably do a messy house like lots of um, kind of like debug items so lots of pots and pans everywhere make sure that there's like clothes on the floor and just make it look a bit messy who knows I think that would uh, just suit it very well and so then for this space like I said I didn't know what I wanted to do I didn't know if I wanted to do a bedroom or a study um, so I thought I'll come back to that later and I decided to work on the bedroom and I first also got rid of the doors because for some reason I don't know why I decided to use white doors but it looked horrible I kind of just went with some of the nicer looking items in this um, in this for this bedroom a little bit posh like I said I, I added in this grey tone and then here you can see me experimenting I've done this a couple of times because I don't have the I think it's the the, the famous pack I can't remember what it's called but I think it's get famous I don't have vanity tables so I like to put in fake vanity tables and as you can see here I've made just using a standard wall mirror and then uh, like a standing mirror and then two wall mirrors to kind of make that kind of like I have this in my uh, bedroom uh, in my house where it's got like the two side mirrors that you can turn but I thought it just looked really good obviously it's not functional whatsoever but because I don't have the pack and I think it is kind of a good idea for those people that don't have packs I have done this before on other builds I can't remember if I've done them in speed builds um prior to this if I have I'll check and I'll put something in the eye in the sky and in the description down below for you but um I think it just adds something and I love watching people do speed builds and stop motion builds where they do experimental a lot and you know using objects that you would never think to use um like you know making things bigger and smaller and then in, you know like shoving it into a wall and then suddenly oh it looks like a microwave and you're like what I, I think it's just you you know so so creative and I don't know if I have seen somebody do that so if I have thanks to them but if not and I just thought about it myself yay me so and then I decided I might as well go for a study slash Kind of like exercise room i do very rarely do gyms when it comes to houses or like putting exercise equipment in for some reason i think it's just because i don't have any it just doesn't seem to like go into my mind 
but um, I have done a gym before when it was on the Celebrity Mansion build. Uh, it just added in like this nice look to the house, but I thought I might as well just throw in a, um, a an exercise treadmill because it, I think that's what most people do. They have an office, but then they also have it as an exercise room. So I thought that would make it a little bit realistic. And then here I'm just adding in the tiny little bits and areas that I realized, oh, I forgot this and I forgot that. Um, and then also I thought about throwing some more decoration. I love putting it in stuff because it just makes, even though it's not real, but it makes the houses seem lived in and that, you know, Sims actually do live there. This is fully functional. I have had a Sim go through and check everything. Luckily, it's not very cramped. I feel like you've got to do more test plays when it is a tiny home, but because this is massive, it's, uh, there was really no need, but I thought I better just check because you never know. But yeah, so here's me just checking over some things. If you do download this in the gallery, there will be some slight changes. I have added in some debug items and rearranged a couple of things just to make sure that it fit in properly. And then here I'm just doing the final touches on the landscaping and just making sure that everything looks okay. No clipping and everything. So yeah, and here is the final product. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you like and put in a comment down below and check out this uh, build on the gallery. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you real soon.